Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do something a little bit posh. I'm going to show you how to make hot smoked salmon and also a leek and cheese sauce side dish. Got a load of birthday shout outs before we start. One for Luca Genova and that was requested by Charles Salvador. One for Lisa Wood and that was requested by Lisa Wood. So, happy birthday. And a very complicated one, and it's in Welsh. Pembluith hapos mabon gleish. I think. So, that was requested by Rodri Davis and your mates. So, have a good one, and you have my permission to have as many Frey Bentos pies as you like, because they are your favourite thing, apparently. Even though they're not really a pie. Okay, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Do it now, before you forget. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, do that, etc. So without any more waffle, let's get smoking. All right, so I've got my lump of salmon. This is about half a kilo and it has been frozen. So we've got this canyon has opened up down the middle, which is a bit strange. So I'm just gonna trim it into, well, into bits. It's got skin on, which I like. So what I want is two nice fillets, which we'll have for our tea. And then these other bits, which we'll just have cold in sandwiches and things. So that'd be wonderful. Right, I've also got 50 grams of sea salt. Other brands are available. And 50 grams of granulated sugar. And we'll just mix these together. And we want to coat all of our bits of fish in this. Okay, so we'll just pop that in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, now we need to rinse the salt and sugar mixture off and dry the bits of fish. Now we pop them uncovered back in the fridge for half an hour to just kind of air dry them. Okay, while the sand's drying, I'm gonna make the leek and cheese sauce dish. These are a bit mucky so they're going to need a good um, rinse and soak I think. Don't worry those will go into something useful not the bin. So I've got uh, half a medium onion and uh, I'm just going to dice that quite, quite small. Now I need to saute the leeks and onions so I'm going to heat up some oil in frying pan. <laughs> That's too hot probably. And we'll just let those saute for about 5-10 minutes till they're soft. Alright those are looking nice and soft so I'll take that off the heat. Shut Put the saucepan on and we'll make the sauce. So I'll just melt a chunk of butter in there. So the butter's melted, now we'll add the same quantity of flour. Mix that into a nice smooth paste. And now stir in some milk. Just do a bit at a time, but we want about 250ml altogether. Now that's nice and smooth, so we can add cheese. This is uh, grated cheddar, probably about uh, 50 grams. Now we'll have a little taste. And that actually needs salt. I thought the cheese would be salty enough, but it isn't, so pinch of salt. Okay, that's fine, so we'll turn the heat off. It's the next day. Things got a little bit fraught at the end of yesterday and I found this small ceramic pot which will be a better thing to do the leek and cheese sauce in. I have got some more cheese sauce and I'll uh, put on there actually. Here it is. Now we're going to build our smoking setup so I'm doing it in, on this. So I need 
my uh, wood chips in there. I've got hickory smoking chips and actually they need to be soaked in water for 20 minutes before use. And that means they'll make more smoke, which is a good thing. You've probably noticed this isn't my best looking piece of kit. Don't use your best looking piece of kit because it will get wrecked in the smoking process. <laughs> I know from experience. We need a, a sort of wire rack to go over there, but I haven't got one. So I'm going to make one out of bamboo skewers. So just a bit of um, temporary blue tack to hold these together. Because otherwise that happens. So after the 20 minute soak, just drain the water off because you don't want to get them waterlogged otherwise they will not burn. The idea of soaking them is so that they don't kind of burn up immediately. They just sizzle away and release smoke slowly. Okay, the blue tack thing completely failed, so I'm going to try with string now. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work. It's uh, <laughs> pretty tricky. Right, so that wants to go under. Under, under. Yay. All right, I'm never going to get that perfect. <laughs> so we'll give up trying. So your options for smoking it, uh, you can do it in the oven, which needs to be really hot, like 200, 220 Celsius, gas seven. Or I'm going to do it on stove top. And if you do it on stove top, you need to use the extractor because otherwise you will suffocate, possibly. So the wood chips need to be in the tin under the trivet. Lay that over. That's a very nice architectural shape, but not what I want really. Paint the salmon with olive oil. So now we want to cover it in aluminium foil and we want a nice tight seal around the edges so that the smoke stays inside. I try not to have it actually touching the fish. I'm going to pop this on the stove. Um, so when we see smoke coming out we'll just turn off the heat and let it sit there in the smoke for half an hour. All right, while the uh, fish is smoking, we'll uh, cook the, the leek and cheese sauce thing. Um, because it's so small, I'm going to use the air fryer. Well, I did a review of that. I think I got that uh, a couple of years ago. I'll put a link somewhere. Essentially, it's, it's a convection oven. It's a heating element with a fan. So I'll put that in for, uh, well, I'll put it in at 180 Celsius for that, which would be 200 if you used a conventional oven, which would be gas six. Uh, and well, just until it's nice and melty melty and browny browny on the top. Well, yeah, oh, look at that. Taste this time. <laughs> what time, what time is it? I'll taste this time. Okay. Hello, people. <laughs> taste this time. Uh, fish and chips. Uh -huh. Um, mm, yeah, huh? <laughs> so this is the smoked salmon, isn't it? Oh yeah. So what did you smoke it on? Hot. Um, I can see wood chips. Yeah, uh, just on there, on the stove. Mm. Um, right hot, till they go, and the smoke alarm goes off. Ah. Unless you've got the extractor on. Ah. on. No! <laughs> <laughs> Getting the citrus. Mm. Oh, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Eating the lemon. Mm, it's in there. Mm. Oh, they're a nice combination. Here, have some of 
Well, the long and the short of it is, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> Good. Mm. Yeah. And actually, I know I made a right palaver of doing a trillet thing, um, but quite easy. Uh, so yeah. Okay. There you go. That's it. Um, thank you for watching, and see you next time.